Alright guys, welcome to this ATS skinning tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a skin for ATS. This method is also um, available to use for ETS2 for those who play that game. So, first things first, you're going to need a editing software. But photo editing software. For example, I have Photoshop. GIMP also is available. GIMP is free. Um, second thing is Mod Studio. Mod Studio is software that we that will make the whole skinning process a lot easier to implement it into your into the game. In search of Mod Studio, you have first the form on SCS software, and then you'll have one. It says it says right here, modstudio.com. Then you go download, and then you see the upload.net. So you go into the website, download it, and everything. I already have it downloaded. Second thing, second is the um, SC SCS truck templates. You need templates in order to work and get the trucks, uh, your skins, right? So it's basically like a way to arrange where you want what to show up. So you have the share mods right here. Um, you can go share mods or Google Drive, whichever one is fine. Uh, it's all up to date, so you have all the new trailers, all the new trucks, such as the Mac Anthem and the International Lone Star. I have it downloaded. In order for you guys how to know how it looks like, you can get the Photoshop ones, or you also have the PNG files. All right, the PN the PNG files are already are UV set, alternative UV set, right? Um, W nine hundred. All right. Oh uh, wait, five seventy nine. Alternative UV set. All right. So in this pack, it, let's say it says alternative UV set. When you go into Mod Studio, I'll show you in a bit. You have to click on that box, or else your mod will not work, will not pop up. Right. So once you're here, you lit. You can grab whichever one. Cabin A is usually a day cab. Cabin B is the stand up. Cabin C is the high rise. I'm using the 579. It's an SES truck. You can also use it for let's say vipers 389 uh it's really easy you just gotta get templates for any modded trucks too you can do that i'll make another one later on another tutorial it's cabin b i already took it out you know i worked on it so i have it all here so let me let me show you what i'm talking about so initially when you open up the the template it's gonna look like this it's not visible whatsoever so make sure you have a layer under that and then you'll have let's say it could be white or black let's say if you have you're using black text go with white you're using white text go with black I have a white I'm using black text so then this is the um, template these two at the bottom make sure you lock them in lock them into pixels and lock their position Layer 5, for example, right here, um, that should be your base color. You can also lock that in, and everything else, you can go ahead and put it on top, right? So, I added a few stickers, if if the stickers, if those who are familiar with those, you know, almost every truck carries them in the States. And then I have the, my, tr uh, my trucking company name on there. I made those as separate transparent, uh, transparent background files, so it's easier just to implement it instead of every time you're having to type it. I have the USDOT numbers, same thing with those. I made a transparent file for those, so you can do that. It saves you a lot more time. And then I also have such um, layer three right here. So, okay, so this thing right here, it just makes the back of the truck white. I have two pinstripes right here, makes it look a little bit nice, adding a little that old school paint. And then I have the fenders right here, the fenders go white. And you see everything else is, doesn't have a color or anything over it, but I go blue, everything else is covered. Blue is the base color, alright? Uh, a quick note, when you go into a photo editing software, the color that pops up here is not necessarily the one that's going to pop up in game. I'll explain that in a bit. I already exported that file into its own PNG. So you're going to grab what, make sure when you download it, go into, put Mod Studios on your desktop. 
and you're gonna need you can need .NET, and there's probably you're also gonna need to get another, I believe. Let me check. I went in there before. Um, let's go history, and then it was, yeah, desktop runtime. Make sure you have that. It's downloading cancel. I'll put that in the description too, along with the other stuff. You need that in order so it runs so it runs and you don't get a error while exporting. Alright. So you open up the application, it takes a minute to boot up. Um alright, so now it's here. So a bit about this, you're gonna go to you can go to SES tool, color converters even before you head into anything. On the left side you'll get what the SES color is gonna look like in game. For example, I don't have the necessary like the exact color. But let's say if I wanted to go for this type of blue, or if I wanted to go for this type of blue, I would have to input this hex number in Photoshop or GIMP. Or GIMP, alright? You know, RGB color spaces, customized colors or, any or anything. That's not any of my concern right now. I am satisfied with the color I chose. Now this is another thing, vehicles. Before you used to have to bring an XML file and go load vehicle for mod. So you basically load it in, add a new vehicle, edit selected vehicle. You know, I have all, have all the ETS2 and stuff, the trailers and everything. So now we'll go to file, new project. Depending on the game you're doing, you can go ATS mod project or ETS2 mod project. My case, it's the American Truck Simulator ATS mod project. Click on that, you get a mod manifest. This mod manifest is going to be the main thing that puts your paint job in, in the game, your skin. Mod name, make it something simple. Imperial, for example, for me, tutorial. Mod author, I'll, I'll put my name in there. Mod version, let's give it 1.1. So it's a 579 skin. Um, DLC, pure built 579. So since make sure you have DLC dependencies on the truck you need it for. So you just make sure you don't make a skin and then it doesn't pop up for the right truck. Uh, let's maximize it, this bit. So we're going to go all the way up and look for paint job. Click that. Now that's done. i um, going to go to icon. You can be the uh, regular one text. You can be whatever. I can put enjoy and tutorial. Alright. Uh, add template. Uh, I can go to simple truck skin advanced or well um, I'll explain this. So you can add traffic trailer skins, traffic mu trailer mud flaps, trailer skins. So you can make engines, engine mods such as with like you can edit, tinker around with the horsepower, everything else. Advanced truck skin and simple truck skin. The reason there's these two is because the advanced truck skin has to do with the Mac Anthem and the International Lone Star. The simple truck skins for almost every other truck, especially the modern ones. Cargo container, you make basically make your own. All right. The nice thing about this is that you see it pops up. Simple truck skin. So this is the mod manifest. You can probably put in, let's say, a few skins. And then all under one mod, quote unquote. So you don't have to make a bunch of files. It just goes under one. But in our case, it's the Peterbilt 579. It's the stand-up sleeper. I didn't choose the high-rise. I believe it could also work. For, um, I think it can also believe for duty cab. Or not. Um, I'm not going to choose that though. I'm not completely sure about it. So, and I also have, let's say, the modded trucks in here. Basic, right? Skin internal name. You choose a name that it's going to be the file. So you have to be all lowercase and no other special characters, such as I'll make it Imperial TUT tutor for tutorial. One. Skin name. That's the that's how it's going to show up. Imperial Imperial skin. So so once it's Imperial skin right here, you can select the price. It can be literally $5,000 or I recommend this. Just make it one, $1 and 
uh, locks at level 1. Since earlier I said it says alternative UV set. That means you have to put the alternative UV. Reason being, it's that these trucks, oh, as you saw in the beginning, it's flipped. You see how it's flipped across the horizontal line right here? That that's what it means. Or else, um, you don't have to. It's gonna show. It's gonna show you in this skin pack. That's the nice thing about it. If you need to set it or not. Image. This is where you're gonna choose the skin you made. So I want a desktop. I advise you guys do let's say a folder that says new skin and then put the truck whatever and then if you want you can put the cabs in here too and then have your finished products there it's called blue and white for me it's already in here it looks huge but don't worry icon we can literally use default or you can also make your own uh, I'm just using default for the sake of this time um don't enable metallic color unless you're really handy with it is just mess up the mod if you don't select the right settings all right so now that we're here done uh we can go into export seems pretty simple enough if you did everything right and you went ahead and got the dot net working have it implemented because this program will not open or it will not export correctly if you don't have that so if you go export then you're going to choose let's say documents locate your install mod um i had these going uh i'll just delete i'll just delete these for now uh, i don't need them and it's just going to make a lot of things way more complicated than they need to be my bad. And then file name. This can be literally anything. Imper for example, Imperial Tutorial. Tutorial, that's going to be for me. It's going to export as an SES file. Save. It's going to say exporting mod. Export successful. Once it says that, you can uh, launch American Truck Simulator. Everything will load like should. And then Mod Manager. You have all your mods here. Uh, it says these are missing. Just take them out. So, you know. Then you have it right here. Imperial Tutorial. If you edit it at the beginning. Where it said the mod manifest. You can have different icons. And then you go here. Make sure you have it in. Confirmed. And then you'll have continue game. Let's just make sure it completely saved. Yeah, it did. Sometimes some games might have the tendencies that you put in a mod, you forget to put confirm save, and it doesn't go in. Just see, and then you know, just wait for it to sign in and everything. Uh, load. It's gonna say we, we're missing the, a few mods. That's we're just drafts. Making sure I was tinkering out, tinkering around with a few things. Switch the keyboard. Um. Uh, I stream, that's the thing, in case you guys want to go check that out, I stream on Twitch and Facebook, uh, I'll leave that in the link if you guys are interested, truck browser, so you go down, let's say we had the Purebook 579, you go and select stand up sleeper because we selected it on the mod manifest, it's not going to work, it's not going to show up, for example, oh, matter of fact I'll show you right now. It, let's say we have the high-rise sleeper. We go here. The, the mod is not right there. It's not anywhere in here. Now, if we go stand-up sleeper, you can always select all three cabs. I just advise you select it for the ones that you made for. This is right here, Imperial Skin. You see? It all works nice. Everything is uh, detailed. It looks like real skin. This is one of the issues that you fix with scaling. No worries, um, and then you can all, it, it all works with the parts too, for example, the side, so the side skirts, exclusive side skirts, it goes with the color, it goes with the color too, but if anything, you can add, let's say, the windshield, same thing, same color, and on the back, you see it turned white. All, all the things that we wanted to do, it did it, you know, no problem, 
And then if you want to go ahead, it still works with custom colors. Let's see, all of them. See, you see? Nice little blue. It works perfectly. This other one. And it still goes with the rest of the truck. This is just the outside of the truck, you know. You can still buy one with the skin and everything. And then you can go in intri into intricate, more intricate skins, you know. They have the fenders here that work really nice. And it looks like a pretty decent skin. Yeah, you can do this with any truck, especially with anyone, even this one. I have a Peterbilt 379 right here. You can skin that too. Now we're just going to quit. Hopefully you guys found this really uh, helpful. Just let me know uh, if anything, if you guys want a tutorial on anything else, be happy to do it. I know uh, I'll probably be making a few more on how to make modded profiles and such. Hey guys, uh, thank you for watching the whole video. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, turn on those notifications. We also stream on Twitch. Go ahead and add us. It's as well the J306. We do ATS streams. We even play some first person shooters such as Rainbow. We do. Streams almost every other day. Yeah, go ahead and check it out if you guys are interested.